Welcome back, everyone. We're going to take you behind the scenes and show you what has been going on over the last month in preparation for Bonneville World Finals. Back in August at Speed Week, we damaged the engine in an attempt to try to go break the existing speed record at 276 miles an hour. The engine ran lean and detonated, causing major damage to the pistons. Kevin and Pete have rebuilt the engine, and we have recently upgraded to a Haltech R5 VCU. You will see some of the struggles along the way and what it took to get the car up and going again and tuned in preparation for the road. <laughs> It's Where did the number go? Did it it flashed anything? real fast and you didn't give me... Huh? Try it again. I saw it at 975, but... Well, why is it zero now? Because I had to shut the ignition off because I had flames coming out of oh. the thing. Just crank it one more time. Okay. Let, me, let me watch it. Yeah, it's going down to two. Well, what if it's yeah. 12? It's a 12. Huh? No, it went down when yeah. you cranked it. Disabled right now, but like I said, I'd like to clear flood it first. So, am I okay to try that right now? Yeah. Okay, Pete, do you want to work the throttle? And I'll work the buttons? Is the fuel pump hooked up? We're not going to yeah, run the fuel no pump. Fuel. No it doesn't fuel. matter what the throttle does, man. They're yeah. going to get the fuel out of the No, air. but it has a lot. So, we're going to try it, Sean, all right? So, nothing. Okay, I'm going to just give it a short crank. Pete wants to see, but you sure? I'm going to turn the fuel pump on. Okay. Uh, fuel yep. Fuel pressure. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna let go throttle. Yeah, okay, we're gonna fire. Woo! Stop the flames. So. Yeah, that's really fire. Okay. So Sean, do you think it's 360 out? No. <laughs> no. More than like no in the software in the software because it ran for three seconds and shut off and shot flames. Okay, I'm gonna go fuel on. Okay, you ready? Yeah. from that stupid line. From what? That stupid fitting right there. Oh. So it, it was, it can't, you see how it kept like initializing and going away? Yeah. So it's, it's just can't, it's not, something's up with this. I don't think, I'm 99% sure it's not a wiring issue. I probed it out again. When I stick a wrench in front of it, it like picks up the I magnetic know, pulse. But it's, it's just so goofy because I worked fine with the adaptronics. I know. Oh, and we could, is where what is your targeted air fuel right there yep so what i'm doing is i'm just for the dyno portion of this and we can t dial this in for the future too this is kind of um we can talk about how we want certain things to be so like as an example um what i'm doing is is let's say we do a poll and our target is 12-0. I know you were your target, your target 12-5.
connection first. Just the ignition. The power, okay. Yeah, we just turned on the power to connect to the yeah. phone. Oh, you're good. Okay, we're connected to the phone. I just ate a delicious lunch of potato chips and grape soda. I saw you. Oh, I feel like a ten-year-old. Wow. <laughs> right? You're, you're kind of regretting it already. That grape soda, though. You're gonna be that gurgling. Like grape, I just poured a little bit. And yeah, I'm like, it's gonna be gurgling pretty I soon. Said, yeah. Who needs drugs? I can eat grape soda. <laughs> it's like a bunch of sugar, right? <laughs> Oh, you don't get that in? Oh, really? I'm straight up tower and my patrol's all the way down the forest, but I don't hear. So you're like a 911 operator. You hear the bad, but never That's the good right. at the other I end. I never <laughs> hear the results. I never hear the speed. I never hear anything. Hey, if you will be like, Jill's also a last week record holder. Oh, yeah. Okay, just making sure. She's got clearance. Car seven, long course. <laughs> Should do it. Two eighty four. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, yeah! oh, yeah! oh, yeah! yeah! The now, they still going too. Ooh, still five. Three <laughs> yeah! oh,
hurt. Don't get hurt. Okay, okay go ahead. You're good. Okay. You ready? Oh, oh that side, that side. Holy, <laughs> holy. <laughs> Ooh, unbelievable. Man. man, look at you. You're like drooling and stuff. What's up? That's water. How you doing? Uh, oh can you use some water? I said no Congratulations. Woo! Thank you, buddy. Thank you. Woo! That's uh, rad. Scotty, no shoes? Yeah, what yeah, happened? yeah. There's a shoe. What happened? Uh, <laughs> Oh, man, Scotty, that's it, brother. 284. You did it. 284. Let me get my selfie with you, baby. Yeah, babe. How you doing? Woo! You did it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 17 tries. That's our all time best right yeah. there. Craigie! Yeah, What's up? Congratulations How'd it sound? to all. Did you hear it? Oh, yeah. It was driving, buzzing? coming down. It was sounds sweet. What do you think, Pete? How you doing, Pete? <laughs> great, great. Right. 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 Makes all the shit worthwhile, huh? Oh, man. Oh, yeah. 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 Wait, um, let's get Greg Martinez to do a team photo of us real quick. Oh, nice. All right. Well, folks, you're not going to believe what I'm going to tell you next, but just like last time, there was a celebration and excitement after qualifying for a record. We rolled into impound with ear-to-ear -ear grins and began to examine the car. <laughs> Moments later, Kevin discovered that we lost compression yeah. in one of the cylinders yeah. again. Unfortunately, this was a near repeat of what happened at Bonneville in the previous last three attempts. The car was packed up and the team drove back to San Diego. Following morning, Pete and Kevin pulled the engine and took it apart and discovered that the pistons contacted the cylinder head. Most likely, this was due to expansion and piston growth. Luckily, this was minimal damage, and the engine is back together again with clearance modifications made to the piston tops. Although this is a really big setback, we have to remember that this always comes with racing. This wouldn't have been possible without the help of numerous people who stepped up to help us through the process. First, I want to give a big shout out to Jay Marr from RS Garage in Florida, who was able to help us out and dial in the Haltech while at Bonneville. Also, a big shout out to Haltech expert tuned by Sean from Minnesota for helping us through this difficult process. I also want to give another shout out to Sean Callahan from JBA Speed Shop in San Diego for helping us with additional Haltech support. Another one, tuned by Darden, who came over late at night to help us get our AEM configured on the CAN system network. Lastly, a big shout out to my buddy, Rob Fleming, for helping with all the wiring, as well as Bob Allison. Pete Ardema is very thankful and appreciates everyone's contributions and support with the race car. We hope you enjoyed this segment and please stay tuned.